Hey everyone, Kavi here. I just want to make a quick video on how to use Object Renamer and what it does. So let's go ahead and just disable this INI for now. I'm going to show you what the game looks like with Object Renamer. Okay, so a problem that I found on the Nexus was that you would try and use a mod that changes the weapon names, for example, to realistic ones, or quote unquote realistic ones. And the problem with these mods is that they often use an ESP file to do that. So the problem with using an ESP file is that it causes conflicts with other mods that try to change the weapons in New Vegas. So to avoid these conflicts, what item or sorry, object renamer does is it uses a script instead to rename these objects. But you can see that it's done nothing. We have the 9mm pistol, we have the blue Betty, we have the laser pistol. These are all the default names. So hasn't changed the names for any of these weapons and if we go ahead and look in the console we see that it's running object renamer.esp it's running the script in here but it's doing nothing so what do we need to do something exit out we need an ini file so if you go in and look inside object renamer you can see that it has the esp it has the config but it has this folder in config this is important called object dash renamer but it has nothing in that folder so you're supposed to put INI files in this folder for the object renamer plugin for the script to change the names of things. So for example, I have this iodine called real weapon names INI. So if we go ahead and look in there, config object renamer, oh, real weapon names INI. So you can see the folder structure here is correct. Go ahead and open that explorer. Edit with Notepad++. You can see that this is what the INI file looks like. So here we can see the section name for this section called Real Weapon Names. And then we can see that it's setting these editor IDs as the key and the name that you want the object to have for this editor ID to be here. So let's go ahead and look at the laser pistol laser pistol is set to AEP7 laser. So if we go ahead and enable this INI file, remember the file structure should look like this. Okay, config, object, renamer, and then whatever INI file you want. It should um, change the name of the laser pistol. Now, the thing about this mod is that you don't have to have your INI file just called real weapon names. In fact, there can be multiple INI files. So let's go ahead and make a new INI file. And this is just to demonstrate what it might be like to create our own INI file for this mod. So Sunny INI, we're going to edit here. Yes, okay. So we're just going to have a section called Sunny. And then we're going to take the editor ID, which I already know offhand is GS Sunny Smiles and set it to Alberto also. So when we go into the game, we should see that Sunny Smile's name is Alberto Balsam. You can see that I have multiple INI files here. You can have as many INI files as you want. So it's a little bit more modular. You don't have to just modify one big ass INI file. Go ahead and run New Vegas to see what that looks like. Okay, so we open up the console. Here we can see that Oh, okay, so object renamer is running and now it's loading this sections from the INI files that we gave it. So loading real weapon names from real weapon names to INI. It's loading uh, this section as well. And you can see that since I don't have this mod installed, it's not able to find an object. It just tells you that it's not able to rename this object. And then it's also found this file, sunny.ini, and it should be able to load that section. Okay, and there's no item not found, so we know that it works. Now if we go ahead and tab here and look at our pit boy oh, the laser pistol is now called the AEP7 laser, like it should be. The 9mm pistol is called the FN Browning HP now, and yeah, that's intended behavior. So if we go ahead and talk to Sunny, there is no Sunny, it's Alberto. Talk to her, yep, yeah, we see that her name is Alberto now. So, yeah, that's just how this mod works in a nutshell. Hopefully I demonstrated it well. 
that about wraps it up for this video. So I'll see you in the next one.